lesson 9.4, we're going to do some word problem solving. We're going to add and subtract centimeters with a number line. A quick note to parents and teachers, we're using a square to prepare students for using variables in algebra, such as n, x, y, etc. So 14 plus 8 is equal to n, n is equal to 22. And variables will be used in third grade. Drawing a diagram such as a number line can help us when solving problems about lengths. And we'll be able to see the way the lengths add up to be the whole length. And this is very similar to video 8.5 where we used inches. The number line can help us write addition or subtraction equations that fit the problem. When we add, like 2 plus 3, we add more line. Here we are at 2, and to add 3, we add more line. When we subtract, we go back. We have 6 minus 2, we are at 6, and we go back 2, that puts us at 4. Remember to look for clue words in each word problem that will tell us which operation, add or subtract, that we need to use. So to add, there's clue words like together, sum, and, adds. For subtraction, there's clue words like gave away, difference, fewer, cuts off. Here we have a word problem, and it says Sarah had 21 centimeters of ribbon. She gave eight centimeters of ribbon to Tala. How much ribbon does Sarah have now? We think she gave oh, some away, so we subtract to find how much she has now. We draw a line up to 21, because that's how much she had. Then we go back 8, and that puts us at 13. Starting at 21, we count back 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That puts us at 13. Our equation is 21 minus 8 is equal to the square. And the square is equal to 13, which means Sarah has 13 centimeters of ribbon now. Because it was subtraction, our arrow points to the left and we go back. We went back 8. Here it's telling us to draw a diagram, use a square for the unknown number, then solve. Bob has string that is 14 centimeters long. Sue Jin has string that is 8 centimeters long. How many centimeters of string do they have? So we need to find how many they have together. That means we need to combine the string lengths, so we add. On our number line, we have Bob's 14 centimeters, and we add eight more for Sue Jin's, and we can see that it's 22. So 14 plus 8 is equal to the square. This square is equal to 22, which tells us they have 22 centimeters of string. We were adding, so we went to 14 for Bob's length and made the line longer to add eight more centimeters for Su Jin's length. Dave drew a line that was 25 centimeters long. He erased some of the line. Now the line is 16 centimeters long. How many centimeters of line did Dave erase? And we think erased means took away. So we're gonna subtract. We draw a line up to 25, because that's how long he drew his line, then we go back, because now the line is 16 centimeters long, we go back to 16, then we count how many we went back. We went back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 25 minus, this square is equal to 16, the square must be equal to 9. That means Dave erased nine centimeters of the line. We could also solve the problem of Dave's line without using a number line, using a related subtraction fact. We have 
a cent 25 centimeter line and there was 16 centimeters left, that means nine centimeters must have been erased. And 25 minus nine is equal to 16 or 25 minus 16 is equal to nine. Those are related subtraction facts. They use the same three amounts, a 25, a nine, and a 16. A 25, a nine, and a 16. So there can be more than one way to solve a problem, but one way is usually easier than the other. In our next lesson, 9.5, we're gonna talk about measuring in centimeters and meters and how they're different from measuring. I hope you have a really great day. I hope you join me next time. I'm proud of you. Bye.